Bella zio, welcome or welcome back to the morning round, uh, the show in which I talk about whatever I want to talk about because I have to telecommute from my house to the office and then I have to do something because uh, uh, instead I go mad, okay? So today I want to talk about the state and the future of Final Cut Pro because it's the editing software I use and it's the editing software I like and I love but but sometimes I think eh, there's something missing the missing thing is that uh, I think that Apple stopped loving uh, Final Cut Pro right after um, Steve Jobs died I know that uh, it, this is a very strong and bold opinion but prove me wrong <laughs> okay I think that Final Cut Pro is in danger because you know they just released the iPad version but well does everybody needed it a lot of editors say okay I'm I'm happy I'm glad that there is a, an iPad version of Final Cut Pro but I will never use it because editing is a complex stuff to do I usually edit stuff on my computer with the two uh, external monitor attached so I have a free monitor setup both in my house and in the office I have two monitors that I use for Final Cut and the other one for the other application or the other applications such as Photoshop, After Effects, the document with the script and the editor notes and all the stuff. Yes, I, I can edit all the things that I do in my 16 inch MacBook Pro, but it's not the same. When I started doing stuff with my, with my wife, 13 inches iPad Air, well, that was tough. And going down to a 11 inch or 10 inch um, diagonal screen, it's quite hard. Okay, you need to attach a keyboard and a mouse and whatever you want to do this, because if you use your fingers for gestures, it's a pain in the ass. But let's be honest, the world needed a Final Cut for iPad. I don't know. I'm quite worried about, about the Final Cut Pro because, you know, I base a lot of my business on Final Cut Pro. The most successful apps that I sell are companion apps for Final Cut Pro. Then uh, if Final Cut Pro disappears, my business disappears too. I'm quite worried. And I have to add that uh, the successful apps that I produce are apps that add features to Final Cut Pro that should be inside the Final Cut Pro. The first app that I ever produced using Swift was and is FCPX Autodoc. I called it an um, FCPX because at the time Final Cut Pro uh, had the DX at the end. Final Cut Pro 10. Don't, I don't give a duck uh, for, 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 uh, for everybody here in Italy. It was Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Pro X. Well, AutoDuck does just one thing and it's automatic ducking. And you say, Final Cut Pro doesn't have automatic ducking. That is the most important thing you have to have when you produce something that has uh, background music, uh, interviews, YouTubers, uh, and corporate videos, whatever you want to do, except a music video as a background music and a dialogue. And you need to, you need an automatic ducking. And Final Cut Pro doesn't have it. iMovie has it, and doesn't, Final Cut Pro doesn't. Okay, you can say it's quite difficult to produce something for auto ducking when you have compound clips. So you have timeline with nest timelines. And you have to do a lot, of, a lot of stuff, a lot of computation to understand if something is, someone is speaking and what is the music, if the music is compounded itself. But what a duck! Apple, you have the resources. You can bring a, a talented developer and in two weeks he can do this stuff. Okay, I would like to put my um, FCPX Autoduck uh, uh, up in the garbage. I would be very happy to have this feature in Final Cut Pro. Oh my God. Another, another feature, in 2019, they announced the, the M1 uh, processors, okay? They weren't called M1s at, ti at the time, but this doesn't matter. They said, uh, we will do Apple Silicon processors, okay? Okay. And then they announced that the next version of Final Cut Pro will have um, artificial intelligence to classify the content of the clips, so you can search them by keywords to say, okay, if you see this kind of frame of picture, you will see a man talking with uh, sunglasses, uh, t-shirt, a car, blah, 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 okay? 
and uh, you can search th for, for this. You can do uh, simple classification with uh, machine learning since 2015 at least, okay? They announced it three years ago and this feature isn't here yet. I developed an app, FCP Video Tag, that does exactly this. Tags the fun keywords of stuff uh, looking at the clips dragged and then send all this stuff to Final Cut Pro. I, a simple loser developer in Italy, not so talented and not so skilled, I developed this stuff in some month. This is not one of the most successful apps that I sell, but I use it almost every day to classify videos, pictures, to identify the, the type of shots. I use it, I find it useful, and I say, okay, if, if an alone developer like me can do this, why Apple can't? I don't want to compare the efforts that Apple is doing with the efforts that Blackmagic is doing with uh, DaVinci Resolve. My God, DaVinci Resolve is packed with uh, tons and tons and tons of stuff. For example, the relighting feature, it, well, it's something that is so powerful, so cool, and, it, and it's based on global, global research. I don't think that uh, Blackmagic produced this kind of stuff internally and trained a machine learning model internally. They used another machine learning model and, they, and then applied it to their, uh, their software. Why Apple can't do this? I'm seriously worried. Let's think about the 10.6.7 release. It was a mess. Oh, luckily I didn't install it because I had another project running, but the general consensus was it's a bullshit version. Why things are going this way? I'm very curious about this and a little worried. Let's think transcriber. I developed the transcriber to be an SRT file uh, generator, but uh, since I, I was doing FCP uh, SRT importer, that is an importer for SRT, I say to, my, to myself, okay, let's bring this directly to Final Cut Pro. But transcriber has a beautiful interface in my opinion, but the core engine of the transcription of transcriber and all the other apps that you can find in the Mac App Store and outside the store, such as Mac Whisper, I salute you, are based on Whisper, an open source model uh, released for free by OpenAI, the one uh, behind the chat GPT. It's free, that you can use it, you can do whatever you want. And people like me are producing apps that do transcription. DaVinci Resolve does that. Why Apple can't do this? You can bring a talented developer and in one month can do this feature. And Whisper is out since the end of 2022. Apple, why are you messing with Final Cut Pro? I'm very, very curious. And I'm curious about your opinions. So I would like you to write something in the, in the comments below because if you're an editor, I want to know what you think about this, uh, the state of Final Cut Pro. Just to be clear, I'm recording this in August 30, 2023. So if something uh, comes out from Apple in one or two days, I cannot foresee the future. But I would like to know what you think about the, the state of Final Cut Pro platform, the state of Apple interest in Pro applications, okay? And I'm doing this because if you do a lot of comments, this uh, video gets higher in the, in the ranking, <laughs> like all the other uh, YouTubers. No, no, seriously. I, I would like to know what you think about this because in Italy I can talk uh, about this with some editors, but Italy is a very little uh, country. Even if we do a lot of TV uh, productions, it's quite difficult for us to talk about projects and platforms. And I invite everybody to write what they think about it. So that's all for today. Sorry for my bad English accent, <laughs> not only the accent. And uh, see you the next time. And if you want me to talk about something in a specific uh, particular uh, argument, please let me know that. And last, a person said to me, please put uh, both your hands on the, on the steering wheel because you're putting a lot of uh, people in danger. It's true, okay? But I'm, <laughs> I'm going very, very, very slow. <laughs> Traffic in Milan and uh, in the Milan and near Milan area is very, 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 very tough. <laughs> okay, see you the next time. Ciao! I'm doing this because I'm not moving. Ciao!